I have to dance with this balanced on my head. Literally thousands of people are gonna be out there watching me perform. I can't get this by tomorrow. It's gonna feel like I'm the one being crucified on stage. Have you ever felt like you're on the edge of a diving board and people were shouting at you to jump and you realized you don't even know how to swim? Howdy, partner. Hey. You looking for a ride? You better believe it. Starting rehearsals for another show. It looks like this is gonna be our new camping spot for the summer. That is exactly how Joel feels, as he must put on a performance in front of 2,000 people as John the Disciple in the Badlands Passion Play. Rehearsals is going to be a huge physical and emotional drain, so it's super important for me that I keep myself super healthy and make good choices for my health. Every time you make your smoothies, this van is filled with the scent of like stinky feet, I swear. It's spirulina. It's a superfood. My super smoothie keeps me strong, keeps me healthy, keeps me focused. Keeps your wife away. Are well, you ready? I think so. Today's video finds us van lifing in the Albertan Badlands, home to Canada's largest outdoor amphitheater. With over six acres of playing space, the Passion Play is a one of a kind theatrical experience. I have to dance with this thing on my head, so I gotta practice. We'll be spending a number of hours walking like this. This is our backstage. If we go through any of these doors, out here, you end up ah, on a giant stage. It's a very nifty place. It's got crazy natural acoustics where you can stand and cast your voice out to the back walls and anyone in the whole auditorium can hear you. I'm backstage here now going upstairs. We have all these entrances and exits up here. Come out on the balcony, from over there, pop from over there, little booth. So we're working our pre-show scenes today where the whole village is gonna be selling wares, doing work, All right, getting taxes. Right here. Oh, and these are my fishes that I get to play with and try and sell to the audience. These do not have batteries, so they do not turn on yet, but they will wiggle. Oh, I'm so in. stoked. The nice thing about being a drum huddler is all of our amenities are taken care of here, which is really nice. Anyway, so while Joel's in rehearsal, I'm gonna go and finish the laundry. And scene. Well, we have one load. I can go make the bed. Oh man, making the bed always feels like such a daunting task. Once I'm done, Oh, it feels so good. Joel always complains that I steal all the blankets. Well, if it wasn't for me, it wouldn't be even begin with. Look at that. I'm just making sure that democracy is happening here. Communism? Whatever one it is that we all get equal. We're just making sure equality is happening. Almost back to the van. No! <laughs> oh, did you do the laundry? Yeah. You are the best. Mm. She's complaining that I raised the room temperature. You did. It's hotter in here with you in it. With me in what? The van. It literally got hotter. Mm. 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 What do you mean? Your, your body is producing heat. Oh heat my gosh. Oh my gosh. You want me to leave? I come here on my little tiny supper break. By a whole degree. And in American degrees, that's quite a few of them. That's not even in American degrees. <laughs> but if it was American degrees, you would have raised <laughs> in quite a few American degrees. I love it how you call it American degrees and not Fahrenheit. No one uses Fahrenheit except for you in America. No one calls it American degrees <laughs> except for you. Up the hill, this is a tricky part. Ooh. It seems to like wobble back and forth on the head, you know? Woo okay, I'm starting to get better at this. Someday soon I'll upgrade to dancing. <laughs> Shower time. As actors, we're trained to always respond with a no but or a yes and. 
So instead of Joel saying he didn't know how to balance a bottle on his head, he did what every good actor does, he practiced. Okay, now we were in one of the rehearsals doing a run through and doing the bottle dance and Jesus came along and pushed my bottle off my head. It's got a big crack in it. Hey brother, <laughs> amazing what directors can make people do. Think I can make it? Oh my gosh. I believe in you. <laughs> you got that, go Scott, Scott, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> nice. Hey. Well done. Hey guys, I come to see your van. This is my good friend Scott. He is playing. My good friend Joel. <laughs> I'm playing Jesus. Jesus. Nazarene. No big deal. The Nazarene. <laughs> Don't know if you've heard of him before, but he's, yeah, a, no, he's a pretty big deal. Historical Bible, figure. Right? 2,000 years. Pretty big guy. So I've come to tell you what he's all about. Right on. And he has place. to do. He has to do the bottle dance with me. Mom. Oh man! And Jesus's mysterious powers is not going to help <laughs> the bottle dance. It's all humanity, right there. <laughs> this is probably a big theological debate. How much was Jesus' humanity and divinity would affect? Him, his ability to hold a <laughs> bottle on his head. Hmm, let me think about that. Okay, hmm. all you theologians out there, comment below what yeah. you think. <laughs> this is called living with a perfectionist. Someone who is continually making sure he's practicing. It's why he's good at everything. In case you're ever wondering, how did Joel become so good at everything? Let me show you. If you want to become an actor, you gotta have courage and determination and balance. Oh, there's a bug on my leg! It's me. He's wanting me to film him again because he wants you to know just how much he practices. You think that this dance just happens by itself? Hey chicks, let me show you what goes into the work of practicing to be the best darn actor you possibly can be. Hey Joel, yeah? what's that on your head? Oh say, is that a bottle for the bottle dance? Shut up. I gotta practice, okay? Oh boy, am I gonna get kicked out of this? I am good at it. Oh really? See the other fisherman. I know, I saw Jesus today. He looked like he was doing pretty good at it. There you go, Scott. Could Scott do this with the bottle on his head? I don't think so. Oh, they got me! Put the water inside. Put <laughs> the water in there. Julian Michaels says it's not about perfect, it's about effort. And when you bring that effort every single day, that's where the transformation happens. That's how change occurs. Ah. Can't always be perfect. Failure is the byproduct of trying. And sometimes you have to fail before you succeed. Hey. Perfect. Cheater. I didn't drop it once. We know the truth, don't we? Oh, the wind, the wind. That's not fair. This is so gross. There's probably like poop on the ground here. <laughs> hey. hey. Ow! Oh, oh! You okay? Yeah. What'd you do? Here's my finger. Master bottle dancer extraordinaire. I don't know what all the practicing's for. It's really easy to keep it on my head. <laughs> What's so difficult? I just don't get it. So I am a very shy person which is something you may or may not have clocked about me. So here I am at the Passion Play site, and there's just all these people here that Joel knows really well, and I know not at all. There's this part of me that just wants to hermit in my own van. So I have an idea. I'm thinking of proposing a plan that we host a party at our site because there's all these RVs around here full of actors and stage techs and carpenters and all those people so maybe we host a night here we can get maybe our little briquettes 
burner going and they can roast marshmallows and, uh, you know, and, and then maybe we can have community. Because ultimately I do believe this over anything else in the world, community is the reason why we live. So how about that? Are you getting social again? I don't know anybody, so I need to know people. Testosterone levels must be rising again, making you more social. Okay. They should peak in about a week. That's right, Joel knows more about the female cycle than I do. And I am the female, but he knows more, because science. Mm. You want some smoothie? No, thank you. It'll help your female hormones. <laughs> the donkey this is sadie everyone she is the companion to sunny who is a donkey who gets ridden by jesus in the passion play but sadie she gets to stand here lonely during the day without sunny she just came to say hi but we can also say bye nice chat sadie you want to meet the birds he's Homing pigeons, or maybe they're doves. I'm not really sure. I don't know if those are like pigeons, white pigeons, or if they're doves. But um, they also get used in the passion play. I think when like Jesus overturns the temple because he's angry that they would use the place of worship as their marketplace. Basically, he's mad about capitalism. So he I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sadie. I just don't want to hang out with you anymore. I'm not breaking up. Oh my gosh, I just got a temper. Oh, I gotta pee again. Well, 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 I'm in costume. This is our first dress rehearsal, full run through of the play. So we're all getting our costumes on. Ready to get sweaty in the sun. Can you do that with the bottle on your hand? No. <laughs> oh, like, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, a, bu a bucket. Ooh. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 I am ready for this show. Okay, so Joel said yes to having people over and throwing a party. So I'm gonna get the whole place ready for a party tonight. That must mean that they're getting really close to the end which is probably why the dog is also really barking. Okay, now that the show is over, it's time to have a little party. <laughs> it worked out well. Good evening for everybody, I hope. And it's our last week of rehearsals! Ah! Oh my gosh, I wonder if I will ever feel ready to open a show. Does that ever happen to actors? Do you ever feel like you're actually ready to open? Time for tech rehearsal. Well, ready for our last dress rehearsal before preview. Is it, I think it is, yeah. The last dress rehearsal before preview. The prostitutes of the show and the religious leaders. <laughs> Are you gonna watch me in my thoughts? I don't know what we're doing. And don't use me to And don't Am I uh, fishermen practicing their bottles? It's second nature now. Look, I can slap them and it doesn't even fall off. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh my gosh. See, natural. Here comes Andrew. Andrew and Peter. It's a good ratio. Woo! So tomorrow, literally, thousands of people will be watching me dance with this thing on my head with four other guys center of the stage. I do not feel like I am ready. With the hours of practice put into his work, it was time for Joel to take on one last practice dive off the diving board.
forward to opening, baby? Yay. Love you, babe. See ya. Have a good show. Happy opening. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I am on my way to call. Well, it is opening of my show. I'm ready for opening, but I'm nervous. <laughs> is this how you feel about opening? Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the muggy weather, Mr. Jacob? Don't ask me, I'm too muggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hot, but we're going to do great today. You ready, Chris? I'm so excited! This is a really super special show for me because just as a person of faith, getting to be in the story of the life and death of Jesus is very inspiring for me because I'm so passionate as an artist about telling stories that matter. One thing I've been thinking about the show that's kind of crazy is that Jesus wasn't ready either, but he still did it. So I guess as an actor, that's just what I gotta do. I gotta dive in, because I'm never really ready for a show to start. <laughs> I'm running! Okay. It is so warm, I think. We gotta turn the breeze up. I could, I could go with a bit of gust. Well, Kevin, you ready for opening night? I am, yes. It is extremely hot, but it's totally worth it. Yeah, yeah. I think this is just an important story to be told. Betcha. And seeing the audience faces as they experience the story firsthand, no is, like, there's nothing like it. So rewarding. I just love it, yeah. And you that's why I've been here so many years. So. Oh my gosh. So I get to carry these around out there and try and sell them. It's the best thing ever. All right, time to go see Joel's opening and support him in his show. I love it. I love it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> gosh. Please, no pictures during the show. So we are at intermission here, and this wind is going nuts. It's going crazy. So I think we have to turn down. That's just a, a nice little breeze would be nice. Okay, we're on intermission, but it is so windy outside. It like went from being unbelievably hot to like super, super windy and cold. So now I'm actually bringing this jacket out with me because of how cold it is. Hello, baby! Happy opening! <laughs> well, that's a wrap. We are open! Woo! We did it! Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's okay! My show is open! Not to be left in the van. Opening night. Good job on your play. Thank you. Hey, you know what? That bottle didn't fall off your head once, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of was hoping it would. What? Live theater, baby! So you wish I would have failed? No. That would have been trying to so hard to do. No, I'm just saying I would have laughed. <laughs> Joel and I live van life, so we have the freedom and the mobility to go and pursue our dreams of being full-time creatives. And today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes as I go ahead and learn how to write a play. I didn't ever think I could write. I'm going to show you everything from the ground roots of how it's inspired, going and actually doing a workshop. Do you want to read? At the end of the day, this is why we live van life. I love it are not tied down by the constant upkeep of our own home, such as, um, I don't know, mowing your lawn, because I'm sure if you're a homeowner, you have to do that. 